Hello y'all, Boogie Knight here, and welcome to another Let's Look At. Tonight we're playing Noctem, which is a first-person mystery horror game. It is currently available to download on Itch.io, so if you like what you see, I'll put a link in the description below. Um, it is also in the process of being crowdfunded through Kickstarter, so if you like what you see in the game and want to back this project, I'll put a link in the description below for that as well. Um, I Like a lot of indie horror games that I found out, I found out about this through CJU, watched the first opening cutscene, immediately fascinated by it, and thought I'd give this a go myself. Um, I think it has something to do with a missing sister, so uh, with that being said, let's dive right in, shall we? This is the demo for Noctum. Yeah, I did say that earlier, but this is an actual demo for an upcoming game, which would explain the crowdfunding. Here we go. Seven years have passed since last time I walked through these woods. I... I remember her watching me from the window as I was leaving Dry Creek. I knew she was sad and angry, and even now, after all this time, I cannot understand why I had to leave. Why alone? Huh. I should never leave her behind. She needed me, and I left. And... Now she is gone. If anything is certain, is that we live in a place where people disappear and most of them remain lost. My name is Amelia Hudson, and I'm here to find my sister. Ha! <laughs> That's a really good little cutscene. You don't see a lot of intro cutscenes for demos. Or upcoming footage. It's pretty smoothly done. I think this is shot on Unreal. I think the only real demo that I've discovered that actually has an intro is, well, shocker, Anathema. Alright, so. Hey, we got that. Brilliant. Very nice graphics. So, we have wads to move. Can we sprint? No, we can't. We can't jump. We have an invisible hand to help the cell phone for lights. So maybe I'll get fleshed out uh, when the game's released. We'll see. Um, before we go in, of course, let's go ahead and look over here in the gazebo. It's pretty smooth. Shut up. Damn crows. Already got jump scared. Not good. Um, is there something in particular we're looking for? Like a slingshot we can knock the crow out? Guess not. Sound is pretty good too, the way it's going through my headset. We have, it looks like, another house over here. Sorry, I had to shut the door there for a moment. Um, anything in here? Nope, it's a locked. Thank you, Amelia. Nice little uh, car. No license plate. Dry Creek. That's almost got. I don't know. Not an original name for a game. For, it's locked. And apparently, it's locked as well. Oh, mission one: find the key for the door. Um. Okay. Well, that was easy. Um. That's cool. We can do the move around. Nice. So pick that up. Main door key. So can we go inside? Yes, we can. Oh! We have... Alright, we've got physics puzzles. Not really, but kind of... I do love when a game makes you do the push... Yikes. Okay. I am so cold. I should light up the fireplace. Maybe you should buy some defoliant, because this is creepy. And then find a way to get rid of this painting. Good lord almighty. Alright. So let's go ahead and go on a room to room search. Nothing there. We got a piano. And a grandfather clock that still works, along with a gramophone with apparently LED lighting. We can't crouch. We don't have a reflection, so I guess we're already dead. And that dog is creeping me out. Um, we can play the piano. Oh. Yeah, you tickle those ivories. That's a nice look. Oh, dear Lord Almighty. This family has a very locked. bad taste in art. I'm not an art snob per se, but some of these things uh, leave much to be desired. We have a broom closet. Anything in here? Um... Pick up the brooms and do some sweeping. All 
right. Exploration we go. There. Looks like somebody already. I better find a way to light up the fireplace. Looks like somebody already beat it to you. Steer skulls. People outside. It was raining earlier, but it's beautiful out right now. Cool things off nicely. Oh, God. Really? You gonna just glare at me while I watch the TV? Okay, so it's l hold down. I gotta move left to open, to right to close. Okay. Looks like somebody already bashed up the bar nice and well. Looks like some bottles. Maybe this, these things will probably get flushed out. And they get all oh, right. Now we're talking horror. We gotta go through every single drawer. Oop! Hang on. Some. Uh, it's a compass of some sort. That's cool. We can zoom in, zoom out. Nicely done. Can we pick it up? No, we can't. All right. So I'm gonna leave a couple of things open for the time being, just because. It makes reminds me that we've been here. I like the bottom drawer. There we go. Nah, nothing's gonna get in our way now. It's old china. I guess the family left in a hurry. All right. Let's do this. Each and every drawer. Oop. We have, we have a cottage door key. Okay, that must be the little building off to the right. So we'll go check that as soon as we're done raiding the kitchen. Anything else in here? Oh, we can go in the cabinets. That's good. Amelia looks to be about average height, but what is this? Five five three eight seven six Doctor Moore. It's not eight six seven five three zero nine. Check emails. Call Amelia. Get a new camera. Oh, we have a notebook. Medic and memories. Oh, medical record, okay. Dad always left notes like this everywhere in the house, so he never forgets anything. Okay, that's clever, I like that. I do like when games kind of give you a way to kind of track your foot, your progress. Oh, that's an old school looking zapper. Okay. Well, I guess we can't go in this cabinet, but we can go in these. Selective on what she opens. Nasty sink. Did you bring any Drano, Amelia? Eh, I guess not. We have a washing powder. Nothing. Nothing. Um, okay, let's just go ahead and make a mess of everything. A little range. That's good. We have a dining room. Alright. Yeah, let's um, open these first. Selected about what they took out. Okay. You know what? If they had to vacate in a hurry due to some horrific accident, I understand. Brennan Border Castle in Amnesia 1 was not exactly in the best of shape. And we finally have a normal looking paintings. Uh, anything on the table? No. Can we go in here? No, we. Oh, yes, we can. Uh. No, oh, it's just her again. Okay. So we just come full full circle. You stay put. That's grand. Let's go look at the cottage. Actually, before before we do that, no, let's go ahead and go to the cottage. We'll go upstairs next. Somebody's talking outside. Huh. Enjoying the pretty atmosphere. This could be furthest. I mean, I don't know if this is the cottage or not, but it seems the only logical explanation. Yep, that works. Brilliant. And holy crap, that is are a lot of books. Some normal looking paintings. And there's that bloody dog again. Um, somebody... Look, I'm a bibliophile myself, but this is almost too much. That's just plain old hoarding. Um, yeah, we'll go upstairs in a second. Let's go ahead and look around here and see if there's anything worth absconding. Um, the candle? No, it's just wood. Okay. Ah, we got some logs. Okay. And dog barking in the distance in a possessed chair. Can we throw that in the fire as well? UFO research, Sumerian civilization research. Aliens? Oh boy. I really, really hope this doesn't turn into Shadow's Peak. I 
for those that are not, not that are wondering about Shadow's Peak, that is Bloody Crow again. Shadow's Peak started off as a strong horror game, but ended up with a Shyamalan-like twist. And not a good one. But I don't know too many horror games that really deal with aliens. Maybe this will sate my curiosity. Is that something on the ground we can pick up? No, it's not. Well, we've got logs. Maybe we can just light the fire up ourselves. Some sort of sea beast amidst these other... What the hell was that? Well, maybe it's that damn crow. I think we've gotten everything we can from here, so let's go ahead and go back to the main house. Always retrace our steps if we need to. Old documents? No. Uh, yeah, okay. So let's go ahead and deposit the logs. It's kind of grotesque, I apologize. And see what's upstairs. Now that we've lit the far, uh, apparently we have not. Hmm. We don't have an inventory system, so maybe we're missing something? Well, dirt, probably a source of fire. That's what it'll take. I think we ought to burn some of these paintings, though. This reminds me a lot of Amnesia, The Dark Descent, but it is really cool how the moon comes in through the window. Dreamtail is putting up... Hi. Dreamtail's putting some decent effort with the graphics. And I kind of like that. Well, I do like that. Usually, a lot of demos just kind of come in half-ass, but we have a telescope. I love astronomy. Rockfest, Happy Halloween, Spring... Spooky Halloween party, another cookie event. I want a good old cookie event. The Crows. Creepy Woods. Somebody's in touch with their inner goth. More pictures of the moon. Anything under the pillows? No. Alright. Well, let's keep going left and see what is down this hallway. Okay, something's creaking. Dude! Okay. And another lovely painting of somebody with their legs chopped off and their head cut off. And no, I don't want to play ball with the demon. Or an alien. D okay, I guess we're going here then. Thank you for opening the door for me, game. Maybe we... Let's go up this as well, in case there's we need to run and hide. Oh, come on, open a little more. There we go. UFO research, please no shadows peek. Actually, that kind of reminds me of that painting hands resist them or something like that. I guess we're going in here. More normal paintings. Something in here? Beanbag chair. Um, that's cute. Little hidey hole of sorts. Nothing of consequence. A book. More stuff on ancient aliens. <laughs> Speaking of ancient aliens, okay, if y'all really want to give Harkov a rough time, what is this? An office key. If y'all want to give Harkov a hard time, uh, ask about ancient aliens. That will definitely get his goat. Maybe that's what the thing is downstairs. Before we do that, though, let's go ahead and look at these rest of these rooms. Before we deal with that. Wow, this is lit up quite much. Okay. That's creepy. It's somewhat endearing. Ooh, hang on, what is this? What is that? I, I don't understand. My father never told me about this. Patient 2. Is that her sister then? Dr. J. Moore, Dry Creek, 553-876. Okay. So maybe her sister really did have some sort of... Well, with the evidence of aliens... The Spock logic, no pun intended. 
would think that maybe there might be something wrong. But, I don't know. Oh, that's a creepy little bear. Open further. There we go. Now we have some bolt holes to see what's going on here. Along with Demon Dog. I remember that teddy bear. I never thought she would keep it after all this time. Cute. <laughs> um. That got me. That got me. Come on. There we go. Um. Is there going to be a threat in this demo? Other than that really tinny music? Oh, good. We have a bathroom. Now we can say it our real horror curiosity. Um, does the toilet flush? And it does. Mission accomplished. Well, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I don't know what's with horror games and bathrooms, but for some reason, when I'm playing a horror game, I've got to immediately find the bathroom. Open that. We can't open the bottom one. Um, take the toothbrush. Take some teepee. What am I bug on? Anything else? No. We use the sink. No, we can't. What is this? Oh, rubbing alcohol. Okay. Are we gonna disinfect some stuff? Something's skipping around. Oh, I kicked the ball, that's what. Definitely skipping, that's okay. Whoa. What in the name of Godfrey went on in here? Nothing up there, and oh sweet Jesus in the garden. I'm gonna ignore that. Um, a lot of paintings and stuff. I wish we did crouch and get a better look at this art thing, but that's really creeping me out. And I'm gonna go ahead and just move on past you, demonic uh, pop star. Something's up there. Yep. I don't like this one bit. What is that sound? It's really creeping me out. It was like, I don't know if y'all heard that. It was a really low screeching, scraping sound. And we can't go into the, looks like a greenhouse. Drek. That's okay. Maybe we'll, we can go in there later on. I think the only alien game I ever played was, apart from Shadow's Peak, of course, was, um, which was not, was that screech, screeching, scraping noise? Could be just my footsteps on the leaves. That's what we'll tell ourselves. And I'm gonna keep my... I'm not gonna put my back to you because you look like you're about to disembowel me. Go ahead and just leave that door there, shall we? Uh, yikes. Can we go up here? We can, and we fall right back down. Well, let's go ahead and shut off that gramophone. Somebody was here. Look at this, though. Unless those are my footsteps that were walking around in here. If that happens, that's pretty awesome how they've done that. Once again, attention to detail. You didn't have to tell? Okay. Thank you. I love classical music, old-timey music, but that wasn't doing it for me, man. I'll tell you that much. Um, no, that wasn't the office door. This was the office door. I mean, we've got the... I'm looking for something. I remember. Father used to smoke here. Hey! I should search for a lighter. There we go. An old reel-to-reel. -reel. Radical audio. Can we turn on the light? No, we can't. But we can... Wait, we have another compass. That we can't access. That's okay. Ooh. Meteor shower night. Um, oh, that's cool. And apparently we can pick it up as well. Little memories. Oh, that's cool. The teddy bear's down there. Um, okay. Focus night. Uh, that's the only drawer we can open. That. Got another notebook. No, we can't access it, though. Nope. Nope. 
and no. What about the lower drawers? What about this lower drawer over here, then? Can we grab that? No, just the top one. Um, maybe something in the cabinet? That we can't open. Damn. Um, another telescope. And another demonic picture. Hooray. Um, where is the lighter? Pack of smokes. Huh. Looks like cigarettes. Oh, your top one. Brilliant. We have a phone. Interesting. I'm to turn the phone screen on. Yeah. I'm home. Sophie? Sophie? Is that you? Um. Is. Did it just sound like it possessed? Oh, hey, we can check out the phone stuff. Can we, um. No, 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 and no. We do have a full moon. Our phone's at 97%. Brilliant. Okay. Um, I can't pick that up. So, let's go ahead and you. Oh, I was just the bloody statue. Let's go ahead and use the logs and the lighter and light up the fireplace. Oh, oh we used the... Better. Oh, we used the alcohol... Good. Okay, so the alcohol was used as a starter. That sound like, sound like it came from upstairs. Okay. Well... I'd rather, I'd prefer to run screaming into the night, but, you know, like any horror game, let's go investigate. Upstairs again. Well, that doesn't go well at all. Um, okay, that was, what Sophie? the? Sophie, why are you covered with blood? No, come back. Yeah. Yikes. Come back. Oh. No. Oh. That's it. The Noctum team. Oh, well done. <laughs> okay. So that was Noctum. For. Once again, one of the finer demos that I played. Well, probably one of the finest hard demos that I played. Um, I say one of them because I played quite a few ones that were decent, but yeah, that's off to a roaring start. I am color me impressed. They've had some good attention to atmosphere and detail. Um, the graphics were decent. Um, there was a nice little spin on the alien thing, so I will give them credit for that. I am curious to see how this is going to get fleshed out, and hopefully it'll get funded so I can play it. Um, yeah, not too shabby. Call me curious. But of course, my opinion doesn't matter, only y'all's does. So let me know what you think in the comments below, as well as any feedback about my playthrough of it. Um, but of course, as always, before I call it a night, if you like the Boogie Night Project and you want to find out more, I do have a Twitter page, as well as a public Discord channel, and links to both of those are in the description below, as well as a link to my temporarily down Twitch page. <coughs> And of course, if you have some money you want to get rid of without donating to a private, you know, decent cause, or just burning it or throwing it off a bridge, my Patreon account. So as always, I hope you all have a fantastic evening, and I'll catch you on the flip side, alright? Peace.